what is going on guys welcome to this episode of odds and ends um yeah so i went digging through some game stuff and i found this bag that uh you know I, there's a, a game boy color game in there and a game boy advance game in there I was just kind of digging through some games trying to figure out what i had in my collection what i needed and uh i came across these two game boy games that do not have labels on them and i remember i got these in an auction with a bunch of like other Game Boy and Dreamcast stuff maybe like a year and a half ago before I even started shooting YouTube videos and uh, yeah I put them <laughs> I put them in this bag and then I just kind of threw them away I wanted to do a uh, mystery cart kind of extravaganza like uh, you know retro hunters used to do or like retro liberty kind of does I don't even know if they do them anymore but I figured I would save up a bunch of these faceless games or mystery carts and uh, I'd pop them in and see what they are I have no clue this one says 1998 Nintendo. And this one is just a regular Game Boy Advance game. So, guys, I'm going to throw in my Game Boy player on my GameCube, and we're going to find out what those games are. So, hope you enjoy. All right, guys, here we go. If you see that, we're going to go with the Game Boy Color game first. Plop that into the old GameCubus. The old GameCubist Maximus. All right, my prediction is that this is Shantae, one of the most rare Game Boy Color games out there. All right, hold on. The old blow on the pins trick, that's got to work. Isn't this magical? What a great episode. Uh, hold on, let me try and use the old uh, Q-tip alcohol technique. Alright, we're back. Use the old alcohol technique in there. Clean that out. Cleaned out the uh, the Game Boy player. All right, so let's play some Shantae. All right. Uh, I don't think this one's working. So let's switch over to the Game Boy Advance game. Game Boy Advance game there. Throw that in the old GameCube. All right. My prediction on this one is uh, Minish Cap. I don't have Zelda Minish Cap. I'd like to have Zelda Minish Cap. So let's see if this is it. It's probably a shitty sports game. Ooh, wait, that's promising. Ah, Super Mario World. Awesome. All right. Oh, that's cool. You can play uh, original Mario Brothers? Super Mario World. Let's just pick one. This is cool. Yeah, I love this game. Alright. Taking a trip down memory lane here. I haven't actually played Mario World in a really long time. Let's give one of these levels a try. Playing this in so long, I forget. God damn it, you birds! I'm playing this in so long, I forgot that uh, I had a turtle shell and I could actually fly with blue Yoshi. Alright, I think these are the Yoshi wings here. Damn it. Alright. 
Yeah. Hey, Mario World Mystery Cart can't uh, can't complain there, so that's pretty awesome. All right, well, I'm gonna try and fix this Game Boy Color cartridge, and if not, I'm thinking I got uh, I got a son who likes to use a hammer. So stick around. What is going on, everybody? This is my son William, and in one hand, he has a hammer. And in the other hand, he has a Game Boy Color game that doesn't work. Now, William, tell the good people what you would like to do to that Game Boy Color game. I'm going to smash it with a hammer. Well, then smash it with a hammer. All right. Go really get in there. Get in there. Show that show that game move boss. Oh no, you broke the chip. That's gonna ruin its resale value. Alright, nice job, buddy. I think you hit the concrete on that one. Alright guys, well Unfortunately guys, I think it's lost a lot of its value, so hey now William? Okay. Clean that mess up. <laughs> 